Hello, this is Harry. In this video, let's watch a film about the apocalypse, I Am Legend. In 2009, medical scientists developed a vaccine against cancer by modifying the measles virus. After 109 clinical trials without failure, all cancer patients had been cured. Unexpectedly, three months later, the anti-cancer vaccine mutated. The injected patients developed rabies-like symptoms and died one by one. They turned into monsters called Dark Seekers which feared ultraviolet rays and only came out at night to hunt for blood. And this virus had spread in the air. Therefore, the military adopted a quarantine policy to control the spread of the virus. Colonel Robert was a scientist serving the military. He had to find the antidote to suppress the virus in two weeks, otherwise the consequences would be disastrous. Robert rushed to send his wife and daughter to the helicopter before the military blocked the city. They bid farewell with tears. They didn't know if they could see each other again. Unexpectedly, the helicopter ran into another out-of-control plane as soon as it took off. Three years later, the world collapsed, and the weeds even grew on the streets. 90% of the population died, and the remaining 9% mutated into dark seekers. Only 1% of humans were naturally immune to the virus. After the virus broke out, dark seekers preyed wildly, and humans couldn't survive. Therefore, Robert, who was immune to the virus, was likely to be the only survivor in the world. The virus in the air had no direct effect on animals. So many animals gathered in this empty city. Robert hunted the deer on the street with Sam, his dog. He went out during the day and went home before the sunset. Whenever he entered the house, he would cover his odor with alcohol on the front door. As night fell, Robert closed the reinforced iron doors and windows in the room, hugging Sam and a gun and crouching in the bathtub for a hard night. The underground laboratory was Robert's hope to survive. He injected different serums into mutant mice. He looked forward to using his immunity to save mankind. Fortunately, the aggressiveness of the number 6 experimental mice was significantly reduced after the injection. Various indicators had gradually returned to normal. His next plan was to catch a real dark seeker to experiment. Robert dared to risk his life until the sun rose. Sam was his only partner, they worked out together. They toured in the city together. Every day at noon, Robert would wait for an hour at the pier to see if any survivors heard his broadcast. Lonely Robert often went to the video rental shop. He put a lot of mannequins here and set up identities for them. Robert greeted the mannequins enthusiastically. He found the tape he needed and chatted with the boss. He fell in love with the cold girl in the adult zone. But he was always embarrassed to come forward to strike up a conversation. When Robert was playing golf on the aircraft carrier, Sam spotted a wild deer. They decided to start a hunt that night and started chasing the prey. Unexpectedly, Sam ran too quickly and followed the wild deer into a dark warehouse. Robert was very anxious but in order to save his dog, he plucked up the courage to go inside. The blood in the corridor was shocking. Robert climbed up the bloody stairs and finally found Sam. At the same time, hordes of dark seekers rushed forward, and Robert fled the room madly. At the last moment, Robert broke the window. A dark seeker that followed him fell downstairs and died in the sun. It was hard to find a dark seeker. Robert decided to grab one of them to do experiments. He set a trap, used blood to drench, and successfully captured a female dark seeker. At this time, an alpha dark seeker yelled at Robert regardless of the sun. But in the end, he couldn't help but shrink back in pain. Robert was very surprised because, in his cognition, dark seekers had no emotions. Back quote the female dark seeker had a 106 degree body temperature, a 200 heartbeat, and a blood oxygen level of about three times normal. After the injection, her body temperature gradually dropped, but the final result was still a failure. The next day, Robert still waited for survivors at the dock. He went fishing in the pool to kill time. In the evening, when Robert came home, he suddenly saw his mannequin at the entrance of the video store appearing on the street. Robert felt unbelievable and roared at the mannequin. When he approached to check, he stepped on the trap and was hung up and fainted. Afterward, the alarm woke up Robert. It was already sunset and it was time for the dark seekers. Robert quickly took out a knife and cut the rope. But when he landed, he was accidentally stabbed into his thigh. He couldn't stand up, so he could only move slowly towards the car. At this moment, the alpha dark seeker who glared at Robert last time appeared with three mutant dogs. The sunlight left between the buildings bought time for Robert. He desperately rushed to get his gun in the car, and the sun also faded completely at this time. Sam stopped a vicious dog attacking his owner, and Robert turned around and killed one. The third vicious dog pounced on his face, causing Robert to drop his gun. When it was in danger, Sam rushed out to save the owner, Robert quickly picked up the gun and killed the dog. But Sam got bitten in many places. Although animals were immune to the virus in the air, they could still be infected by direct contact. Robert distressedly picked up Sam and returned to the laboratory to inject the serum, but it didn't work. Sam was still mutating and gradually began to mutate. Robert's heart was torn apart, yet he had to reluctantly kill his only partner. Sam would never be seen with Robert again. Robert buried Sam and came to the video store. He said goodbye to the mannequin he had never dared to talk to. In the dark night, Robert, who was born unlovable, was determined to die with the monster. He galloped on the dock and went mad hitting the dark seeker he deliberately attracted. 
and the alpha dark seeker who appeared twice seemed to be the boss of the monsters. He called on other dark seekers to attack Robert and knock the car over. Just as the dark seeker was about to climb into the car and speak to Robert, a burst of strong ultraviolet light came. The dark seekers fled like enemies. When he was groggy, Robert saw a woman rescued him and kept asking him where he lived. Robert said his address in a daze and fell into a coma after speaking. Woke up again, the wound on Robert's leg had been stitched up. His savior was Anna and her son, who was cooking in the kitchen. It turned out that Anna heard Robert's radio and waited for a day at the dock. It happened that Robert was fighting with dark seekers and she was going to find the survivor safe area. But Robert believed that mankind had long been extinct and there was no safe zone at all. Besides, Robert was in charge of the area where the virus originated. He firmly believed that he could develop an antidote to save humans. Then, the two went to check out the trap he fell for. But they found that this kind of trap was similar to the one that Robert used to catch the Dark Seeker. There were signs that the Dark Seekers had evolved and started to have thoughts. After that, they went to the pool to relax. A word from the little boy playing in the pool inspired Robert. He thought of using ice cubes to cool the Dark Seekers to enhance the efficacy of the serum vaccine. At night, there was the noise of countless night monsters outside. Robert asked Anna and found out that it was still dark when they got home last night. And Anna didn't know how to use alcohol to remove the smell. The Dark Seekers swarmed, Robert quickly turned on the surrounding ultraviolet lights but they were quickly put out by the violent Dark Seekers. In desperation, Robert activated the bomb planted in advance. Suddenly, hordes of Dark Seekers died and wounded countless, and there were corpses everywhere. The gunpowder dissipated, and the Alpha Dark Seeker ordered the army to start an all-out attack. Robert realized that the situation was not good and hurriedly took Anna and her son into the underground laboratory and hid them in the quarantine area. At this time, Robert discovered that the injected vaccine began to take effect. The physiological indicators of the female Dark Seeker gradually returned to normal, but they hadn't had enough time to rejoice, a large number of Dark Seekers broke in, violently hitting the glass of the isolation room. Robert shouted anxiously that the vaccine was in effect. He could save everyone from the virus and return to humanity. But the Alpha Dark Seeker looked very angry and pushed away all the Dark Seekers who got in the way, screaming while hitting the glass. Unexpectedly, the Alpha Dark Seeker painted the shape of a butterfly on the glass. And there was a butterfly-shaped tattoo on the back of the female Dark Seeker. Robert then realized that he had caught the Alpha Dark Seeker's family. He thought of his wife and daughter and understood the mood of the Alpha Dark Seeker. Robert put down his gun and asked Anna to open the door. He personally pushed the female Dark Seeker out and returned her to the Alpha. After the two Dark Seekers reunited, they showed Robert's incredible affinity. Robert glanced at the photos of the Dark Seekers who died in his experiment, saying sorry to the Alpha Dark Seeker. Maybe in the eyes of these monsters who already had feelings, Robert who could survive in the sun was the real monster. The Alpha Dark Seeker did not catch Robert and turned away with his men. Later, Robert gave up his original idea. On the road with Anna and her son, he shouted to the last survivor on the radio to meet at the next destination. This film has two different endings. The other ending tells that the Alpha made a butterfly-shaped crack in the glass. Robert did not think of the relationship between the female Dark Seeker and the Alpha. Instead, he drew the serum antidote he developed and gave it to Anna. Then he hid Anna and her son in the secret path. He took out the bomb and died with the Dark Seekers. Later, Anna and her son found the last survivor base and brought the antidote to save mankind. This ending may be more in line with the title, I Am Legend. And the first one I think it is more suitable to call, I Am A Survivor. Well, this video ends here. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you next time.